electric baseboard heaters and these are the thermostats that are used to control those radiators normally the radiators are 240 volts on a two pole breaker 20 amps and uses a 12 gauge uh, wire now these thermostats there's a single pole thermostat and a double pole thermostat what does that actually mean how can you tell the difference well one way is to open up the thermostat take them out of the box and you'll see two wires it's an in wire and an out wire and that controls the radiator that's a single pole thermostat now this one here is a double pole thermostat so you got two wires coming in and two wires going out to the radiator that's a two pole now the difference is you can tell by just looking at it that this one only has a low setting that's the lowest it can go while the two pole actually has an off setting what does that mean well if you have a single pole it means that only one of the two wires that comes from the breaker actually gets controlled the other wire goes straight through to the radiator so you always have power at the radiator so don't rely on the thermostat to put it low if you're gonna work on it okay you got to go to the breaker and shut off the breaker on this one when you put it on off it actually shuts off the power to the radiator how does that work well when it's a two pole thermostat only one of these two poles is controlled by the thermostat which is the temperature setting the other one is an on off switch so when you turn this off it shuts off one of those two lines which means it is off this one here it does not shut off completely because the one you're controlling the wire you're controlling is in this it's not a switch remember there's a bimetal connection here and it will connect on the lowest setting it says low but around 40 degrees it will kick on that's why sometimes your bill might come a little high in the winter even though you have it on this setting thinking it's off but it's actually on you need to use the breaker to shut it off completely now this one here the way it works is one is controlled by the thermostat and if you put it on the off position the other one is not controlled with the bimetal it's actually an on off switch so this one is a is the only one that can truly shut off the radiator so say you want to change one of these over say you want to use a two pole thermostat because you happen to have one but you have a, you know to a single pole wiring in your junction box well you can use the two pole all you use is one of them just use one of them the other one you just cap off but you got to make sure which one you're going to use because remember one of them is controlled by the thermostat the other one is just an on off switch if you connect it on the on off switch when you turn this on all you're doing is turning it on that means that radiator will continuously continuously heat will never shut off the way you can tell the difference on the newer models because the newer models they come uh, wired either or you can do it as a two pole or a single pole make sure you use the correct ones if you can use it as a single pole and it will tell you it will say L1 L2 T1, T2. Always use the ones, the L1 to the T1. That's the one that's being controlled by the thermostat. If you use the other one, it'll just be an on off switch. Okay, I hope this cleared up a little bit of how these things work. I've uh, changed numerous ones of these and this is something I learned as I went along. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about it. So I hope this uh, will help you when you make your decision of what thermostat to use for your electric baseboard heaters as always be safe 
do not attempt this if you're not familiar with electric and you don't use safe practices. This is 240 volts. It's nothing to be playing with. You have to know your electric to do this. So please, if it's confusing to you, get yourself a licensed electrician, a certified electrician, someone who knows how to do this type of work. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate your comments.